Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another video. Today's video is something a little different. It is, of course, that time of the year again. Christmas time is almost upon us. And I thought it'd be something a little different in this video to actually do some sort of Premier League fans Christmas card list to Santa or whoever else it may be for this year. So I hope you enjoy it. I hope it's something a little different for you all. Uh, and yeah, let's get straight into it. We're going to do this in two parts. We're going to do the bottom half of the table first and we're going to then do the top half of the table on a later date. Before I go any further than I would like to remind you all to please like the video and also subscribe if you're new. Both of them are always going to be greatly appreciated. Uh, enjoy the video. That's all I've got to say on that. Let's kick off with the bottom of the table. First up, Sheffield United fans. Dear God, please, please send us help. Please send us a miracle. Please send us a team that can defend as well as score goals. Anything. Help! Sincerely, Sheffield United fans. Dear Santa, all I want for Christmas this year being a Burnley fan is a team that can pass. Or move. Or shoot. Or score. Or defend. Or dribble. Or anything that is actually good to watch and pleasing on the eye and that can actually help us maintain our Premier League status. Anything to get more points on the board, please. Sincerely, Burnley fans. Dear Santa, for Christmas this year I would love nothing more than to get three more points on the board at the very least between now and the end of the season so that Luton Town don't become a record-breaking side in the Premier League. Of course, Derby County still hold the record for the least amount of points accumulated in the Premier League season. Please, do not let it be us going forward and breaking that record. Sincerely, Luton Town fans. Dear Santa, for Christmas this year, we would like our 10 points back. Or reduced. We could be sat in the top half of the table, for God's sake. Please, give us our points back. Sincerely, Everton fans. Dear Santa, as a Nottingham Forest fan, this season has been pretty shocking and pretty poor to say the least. For Christmas this year, could you build us an invisible brick wall to put in front of our goal? Or at least to teach our strikers how to finish off their chances? One of the two might make it for a better season to come. Sincerely, Nottingham Forest fans. Dear Santa, for Crystal Palace this year, I would love nothing more than for you to send our club into the modern era. Please, get rid of this dinosaur known as Roy Hodgson from my club. Bring us a more modern day, more forward thinking manager and send our club into the 21st century. Thanks, sincerely, Crystal Palace fans. Dear Santa, for Christmas this year, as a Bournemouth fan, I would love nothing more than our current unbeaten run in the last five games to continue. Please, I don't ask for a lot. Just please, let this run continue for as long as possible. Sincerely, Bournemouth fans. Dear Santa, as a Wolverhampton Wanderers fan this season, I have seen our team get unfairly judged by the poor refereeing standards and by the poor usage of VAR time and time again this campaign. So much so that we have dropped so many points because of the inability of these types of referees and their decision making. For Christmas this year, I ask nothing more than for the standard of refereeing and the usage of VAR to drastically improve within England's top flight division. If we can get some of the points back, that could be a bonus. Or if maybe our strikers can actually put away some of the good football that we're playing, that could be good too. Either way, that's all I want for Christmas this year. Sincerely, Wolves fans. Dear Todd Bowley, for Christmas this year, could you find a striker that can actually put the ball into the back of the net? Either that, or maybe spend another billion on a team that looks good on the outside, but has nothing in the middle and nothing inside of it. Either way, this season has been dreadful. You could also end the season right now. 
just anything to make us jump from this point to actually winning trophies again. Sincerely, Blues fans. Dear Santa, as a Brentford fan, I think it's been pretty evident this season that we have missed the goal scoring and all round play of our star striker, Ivan Tony, whose ban, of course, is up in January. As a late Christmas present, could you please, please, please let us keep Tony going forward for our season to maybe get better from this point onwards? I know he's being linked with the likes of Arsenal and Chelsea, but please. Let us keep Ivan Tony going forward for at least the remainder of this campaign. Sincerely, Brentford fans. And there you have it, that's part one of Christmas cards from Premier League fans for the bottom half of the table. If you like the video, hit the like button on the way out. If you enjoyed it that much, then want to subscribe, see more content like this. Mainly more football content, of course. Mainly more footballing news content and opinion-based pieces. Then please do hit the subscribe button. Both things are always and forever greatly appreciated. Uh, other than that, thanks everyone for stopping by and for watching. I've been Fletch. This has been something a little different to what you're used to if you're obviously used to the channel. Something a little different. I hope that you enjoyed. I've been Fletch. This has been another Fletch, uh, Fletch video, whatever the case may be. I'll see you, you all again soon in another video or live stream or whatever it may be. Look out for part two coming whenever it decides to upload. See you later, guys. Take care. Have a good rest of your day.